Hi, I'm Anna Wall Trades, and today I'm going to talk to you about spoon carving. I start most of my spoons on the bandsaw. I make several cuts, removing the bulk of the waste. The most important thing to remember when initially designing your spoon is wood grain. Wood gets its strength from its grain, so I always design my spoon in such a way that the grain runs continuously through the entire handle and bowl of the spoon. If you don't have many tools, stay tuned for more videos in this series on how to carve on a shoestring budget. I'll show you how to make your own tools, a bow saw, axe, hook knife, and shave horse. Say hello to Tom Henscheid who's taught me almost everything I know about spoon carving. Once I have my rough shape cut out on the bandsaw, I begin carving the bowl of the spoon. I secure the spoon in a rope through a hole in my bench that is tied in a knot by my foot. I step on the rope like a gas pedal to hold the spoon still while I carve. Here you see me using a bent gouge. My favorite is a 13mm gouge with an 8mm sweep. I keep my gouge sharp and I always keep both hands behind the blade. I then mark out the final shape I like for the bowl of the spoon and I use my hook knife to make my finishing cuts. Once I've got the bowl of the spoon how I like it, I move it to my favorite vise for holding weirdly shaped objects, a guitar neck vise, to refine the outer portion of the spoon. Because this spatula has a flat bottom, I'm able to use my cutest hand plane to smooth out my bandsaw cuts and further refine the shape. The transition from the spoon bowl to the neck involves several different changes in wood grain direction. My favorite tool to create a specific shape in that difficult grain is called a rasp. To finish the shaping, I use a spoke shave. Note the way I'm holding the shape, steering it in and out of the cut with my pointer fingers, and how I'm pulling the spoke shave in an angle, engaging the whole blade along the length of the cut. This improves the cutting action of the tool and the finish left behind. I make any final adjustments with my carving knife, and then the spoon is ready for oil. Any self-hardening food grade oil is fine, but lately I've been using board wax from my friends at SoCal Woodshop. Applying the finish is a favorite part of every project. I love to see the way the wood grain pops when the finish hits it, but a whole other level of cool happened when I got a branding iron. And there's my spoon. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, hit the subscribe button and stay tuned for the other videos in this series.